Hey, and welcome back to Cortex Futura Tools. In this video, I'm going to show you five things that you can do with Tana commands. Tana commands are a powerful way of automating things in your Tana workspace. And in today's video, I'm going to show you what you can do with them in the context of providing coaching or other services, for example. I think you're going to like this video, so let's jump right into it. So let's say, for example, that you get new service inquiries every day into your Tana workspace. You can do that through Tana's input API on which I'm going to do a separate video. But basically what you can do is you can hook up a form on your website and have the responses automatically come into your Tana workspace. And that's basically what we're seeing here. So I have a live search set up for things tagged as service inquiry, and then people fill out the form and it comes in here is tagged a service inquiry and it lands on my today page. Here we have one from George Washington and that person is then tagged as a client. We have an email, the service requested, the context of what do they want and the service package they've selected and the status of the service. What we're offering is two services, Tana coaching or a Tana workspace setup. So either one-on-one -on -one lessons, an hour long, or a completely set up uh, workspace. And the service package um, that people can select is either individual coaching, three hour coaching session, workspace set up in two flavors. Now in the service business, you have many tasks that are the same and that are repeating. To ensure the quality of your service, you want to standardize these. And so what many people do when they run a service based business is they formulate standard operating procedures, the same tasks that you have to do the same way every time a certain thing happens, right? So service inquiry comes in and you have to do certain things. When this comes in, you can of course go in here and like create a new task and do whatever, right? But that's something that you can easily automate. And we are going to automate that using Tana commands. So the first command that I want to show you is here in the inquiry stage of our process, right? We get a service inquiry and we have SOPs and one is coaching SOP, right? So people come in and they ask, hey, can you coach us? We decide, okay, yes, we're going to coach you. Then we send them a payment link so that they can prepay for the session. And then we're going to uh, send them an email once they've paid where they can schedule the coaching call. Now let's automate this. For this, um, I have a command here called add SOPs. And the command, what it does is it inserts cloned copies of nodes. And what's going to happen is that we insert these tasks, but not as references, but as new tasks, right? New tasks that say send payment link and uh, schedule coaching calls, right? Now, to create such a command, every time you want to create a command, you create a new node and say add SOPs, for example, and then you hit command K and type command and select convert to command node, right? And then you get an indented node where you can say, okay, insert cloned copies of nodes, right? That's what we have here. And then nodes to insert. And here we can enter references to nodes, right? I can um, do copy paste here and those are going to be added. Let's see how that um, actually works. So to run a command, you can either focus your cursor into the node on which you want to run a command. And now I can uh, type here, add SOP, and I'm going to se select this one, and that's going to enter these two tasks here, right? But having to remember um, all the commands that you might have is annoying. So what Tana has given us is the way to create buttons that run a specific command. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to open up the service inquiry configuration for that super tag. And down here in the advanced section, we have a commands field. And here I can add a reference to the add SOPs command. And if I do that, and scroll up here, you see we have a new button, add SOPs. And if I click that, that will add the clone copies of the referenced nodes. So that's really powerful, saves us a little bit of work. 
But what do we do now that we have two different types of services, right? So we have a service inquiry here, but people can also request a workspace setup and that has uh, different SOPs, right? So that for that, we're not going to schedule coaching calls, right? Of course, we could create another command, right? So here I have another command, add coaching SOPs and one for add workspace setup SOPs. And I could add this here as well, right? And now I have two SOPs buttons here. I should probably then rename one of these so that I know which one is going to add which um, uh, tasks, but that becomes unwieldy really quickly. So I want to show you the second thing that we do with commands. We can filter. And so um, what I can do is for both of these, I can go in here and set a node filter. And here I can add a search expression to filter nodes that this command can be run on. So for the coaching SOP, what we're going to do is I'm going to do service requested and select coaching. And for the add SOPs for the workspace setup, I'm going to do a node filter and set service requested here for workspace setup. And now what happens is I only have one add SOP tag here. I still have to add them both here in the commands field, but let me delete these. So we have selected service requested is Tana coaching. And if I click the add SOPs button, the correct tasks are inserted, right? That's pretty cool. If I change this to Tana workspace setup, different set of tasks is added, right? So that alone can save us a lot of work, right? We have one thing service inquiry and depending on what the status of a specific field is, we can add different types of SOPs. That's really, really powerful. Now let's stay with the coaching example, right? So we've added the SOPs here, but we also want to create coaching calls and make this an actual project, right? Like right now, the thing that we're dealing with is an inquiry. And what we want to create is a project that we use to execute on this inquiry. So similar to SOPs, we want to have the same thing happen every time that we have a coaching request and we say, okay, yes, we're going to do this uh, coaching, right? And Tana is quite powerful in that it lets you run a command that sets up even intricate relationships between uh, different super tags, instances of super tags uh, and searches and tasks and that sort of thing. So let me show you what we can do. So we've covered the two add SOPs uh, commands here. And what I want to show you now is this construction crane command. And here we have a command called insert Tana paste. And this is a really powerful command. So before we go through how to set this up, let me actually show you what it does. So I'm going to uh, take a reference here and put this into the command section, put it here. And now what we have up here is we have the construction crane and if I click that, what we get is the service status is set to in progress. That's pretty neat. But we also have here added a new project where the project status is set to in backlog. And we have indented under that delivery project, a coaching call and another coaching call where the attendee is set to the person who booked the Tana coaching. And we have two live searches that turn up all the other calls with that same person. So the live query here looks for coaching calls where the attendees are set to be George Washington. And I think you can see how amazingly useful that is, right? So for every coaching uh, inquiry that comes in, one button click and we have a project set up, we have the coaching call set up, and um, we even have a standard way of seeing, okay, what did we talk about in the last or any previous uh, engagements uh, with that person? So it's a really powerful way of creating a lot of structure really, really quickly. 
Okay, so how do we get there? In the prompt for the insert tana paste command, we say that we want to deliver the service requested for a name um, and tag this as a delivery project. Let's go over that step by step. So this is normal text, but here I'm referencing the service requested field of the node on which I'm running the command, right? So here I'm running this command on this node and this node has a field service requested that has a value, right? And here through the dollar sign and the curly brackets, I'm referencing that service requested. And here, I'm referencing the name field, right? Note that I'm using a capital N here because the field also starts with a capital N. If you use a lowercase n, that refers to the node itself. You don't want to do that, right? So we're creating deliver Tana coaching for George Washington and we're tagging it as a delivery project. So here we do hashtag and then in square brackets the name of the super tag that we're using. Now indented under that we create two coaching calls, right? So two nodes here that are tagged as hashtag double square brackets and then coaching call and that is going to tag that node with the super tag coaching call. Now coaching call as a super tag um, has one field that is the attendees field and we are setting the attendees field by using these two colons here and then saying what we want to have in that field and that again is the name of the person that we're coaching. So as you can see up here right the attendees field is set to George Washington. Right? Now what happens here is really cool because what we're doing is we're creating a search node for previous calls with that person, right? And we're creating the search node by using these double percentage signs, then writing search, and then double percentage signs again. And that tells Tana that everything indented below that is what would be in a search expression. And here we're looking for anything tagged as a coaching call, where the attendees field is set to name, right? George Washington in our example. And we're doing that here for the second coaching call again, right? And so by running this insert Tana paste, we're adding all that structure pre-filled out fields with one button click. And here, because I mentioned that looking at the field, we also set the field service status to in progress, right? So the moment that we click this button here, create delivery project, we're changing the status of the service status field, right? So it was received. Let me delete this so you can observe again what's happening. Click this service status changes to in progress and we have a delivery project. All right, so that was three out of five uh, things you can do with Tana commands. One thing I want to show you is a way to set date fields. And so if I click this complete button here, um, we're adding a field follow up on that is set to in two weeks from now, right? So today is uh, October 10th. And by clicking that button, I've automatically set this field for in two weeks from now, 14 days uh, from now. The way to do this, let me go down here, is that this complete command sets uh, the field value to project status is completed. It also does that, but we also use the insert relative date command. And here we say the relative date string is in two weeks um, and the target node is the field follow up on, right? Note that this is not the follow up on field like we have here, right? So this is not the field itself, but a reference to the original follow up on node. So to enter this, what you would usually do is get the field, right? Insert the field, hit command C, and then put in here the follow up on reference, right? So again, command C, command V, like this is what we want to see. Uh, and then we can delete this. 
And the relative date string um, can be this week, in two months, two days from now, what have you, uh, right? So I could say tomorrow, and if I click complete now, it's going to change the field to the value of tomorrow, right? So that's number four thing you can do with Tana commands. You can dynamically set uh, date fields or any fields to relative dates. That's really powerful. Uh, RJ Nestor um, has some fantastic resources on this in the context of task management. Um, so uh, I'm going to link that below the video. You definitely want to check that out. And so the fifth thing that I want to show you today is that you can run multiple commands at once or together by nesting them into each other. So for example, instead of having an add as OP button and a delivery project button here, we can put these together, right? In the command so far, we've used native Tana commands available to us directly from Tana, right? So set field values, insert Tana paste. You can see these are purple, these are directly from Tana. But what I can actually do is I can take a reference to the construction crane um, command here, and I can also uh, put that in here, right? And so let me delete this, and let me delete these two, and now if I click add SOPs, I get both the standard operating procedure tasks here, as well as everything that was in the uh, construction crane command that I had as a button here, right? And so that means you can compose amazing workflows by using like sort of nested dolls uh, setups where different commands run other different commands. You can be quite intricate and uh, powerful in, in what you do. So I hope this was useful. Five Tana commands and things you can do with Tana commands. Um, if you want a complete second brain in Tana, then I recommend that you check out my templateinarian brain. It comes with support for Para, Zettelkasten, GTD, um, all sorts of things. Um, over here you find a complete walkthrough of the system and I hope that is useful as well and serves at least maybe as inspiration for building your own system. Talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.